Today, we're diving into the latest revelations about the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra and its benchmark results, featuring the overclocked Snapdragon 8 Elite for Galaxy chipset. Let's break it down for you in simple terms. Just yesterday, we got confirmation that Samsung's Galaxy S25 series will be powered exclusively by the Snapdragon 8 Elite application processor, abandoning the usual Exynos chips for this flagship lineup. Why the switch? It seems that Samsung Foundry's low yield on 3M production made it too risky to use the Exynos 2500 this time around. So Snapdragon it is, and not just any Snapdragon, but an overclocked version specifically made for Galaxy. If you followed previous Galaxy releases, this shouldn't come as a huge surprise. Both the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 had overclocked for Galaxy variants in Samsung's flagship devices. Now, the Snapdragon 8 Elite follows suit. This overclocked chipset was recently put through a Geekbench 6 test inside the Galaxy S25 Ultra, revealing some intriguing details about its performance. Here's what we learned from the benchmark test. The Snapdragon 8 Elite for Galaxy has two prime CPU cores clocked at an impressive 4.47 GHz and six performance cores running up to 3.53 GHz. For comparison, the regular Snapdragon 8 Elite tops out at 4.32 GHz on its prime cores. That's a small but notable 0.15 GHz difference for the Galaxy variant. Samsung's decision to push the clock speed slightly higher is aimed at squeezing more performance from the chipset. Snapdragon 8 Elite is still expected to deliver top-tier performance, and the Galaxy S25 Ultra is shaping up to be a powerhouse. From gaming to multitasking, this device should handle it all with ease. Now let's shift focus to what's coming next. Samsung's big unpacked event is just around the corner, expected to take place on January 22nd. With about three weeks to go, the Android community is buzzing with excitement. The Galaxy S25 Ultra, along with the rest of the S25 series, is sure to take center stage, and we can't wait to see what Samsung has in store. To wrap things up, the Galaxy S25 Ultra's benchmark results may not have blown us away, but that doesn't take away from its potential. The overclocked Snapdragon 8 Elite for Galaxy still offers a significant performance boost, and Samsung's flagship promises to be one of the best Android devices in 2025. What do you think about these benchmark results? Are you excited for the Galaxy S25 Ultra and its overclocked Snapdragon chipset? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more updates on the Galaxy S25 series and other upcoming tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.